24 goals in 25 Premiership appearances should be enough to keep Kevin Phillips in any spotlight. But today he has to compete for the lead role with Liverpool's £11 million signing Emil Heskey, the third most expensive player in the British game. Heskey and Phillips both scored at Leicester last Sunday. Heskey a starter in Kevin Keegan's latest England lineup. Phillips a late substitute. Well, at Liverpool, Heskey will ultimately play with Michael Owen and or Robbie Fowler, but Eric Meyer is his starting partner, while Owen continues his comeback via the subs bench. Sami Hippier has recovered from last week's ankle gash. Steven Gerrard is back in midfield. Hegem and Schmidtscher are both injured. Sunderland have lost their last six away games and conceded 12 goals in their last three. So Darren Williams is preferred to Paul Butler at the back. Paul Thurlwell replaces Eric Roy in midfield. Phillips may also figure in that department today, leaving Niall Quinn on his own up front. Important few days for Liverpool and Gerard Houllier. They play Aston Villa here on Wednesday and maximum points from these two home games would see Liverpool established in the top three. Field here for Sunderland, leaving just Quinn as a lone striker. Five in the middle, Peter Reid's plan. Here's Gerrard for Liverpool. Myers in the middle. And that's a free kick for pushing by him. This is Song for Liverpool. Now Heskey here is against Darren Williams. Tries to turn inside him. Oh, he's away and brought down penalty. What a start for Heskey. He's got a penalty in the third minute Darren Williams is the defender here number 18 Heskey's turned him there and he's pulled his shirt Graham Pole ran away having made the decision Makin's got across to argue yellow card that looks like Makin for dissent and Liverpool have a penalty inside the third minute it's going to be Patrick Berger In the clock stand they celebrate the first contribution from the new number eight Heskey as he did for Leicester unsettling the Sunderland defence and Gerard Houllier couldn't have expected a whirlwind start like that oh Berger in the middle there was totally unmarked for a moment it's still Heskey comes off Craddock Harman tries again oh good save beautiful volley dipping from Dietmar Harman but a good tip over by Thomas Sorensen. Some goalkeepers would have been caught out by this. It really was dipping underneath the crossbar and he got his arm up there. It's a corner to Liverpool to be taken by Berger. Away by Makin. Here's Harman again. Gerrard. a good ball, this is Heskey, Murphy coming in from the far side now, Berger's further over. Well, what is noticeable about Emil Heskey is the way he's pulling into wide positions, stretching the defenders as he does so, and getting crosses in from the flanks. This is Matteo, who's trying to do just that from here. Meyer coming in here with the flick. Oh! It just carried towards the far post and Sorensen had to get an arm out. Heskey slides Berger in, he's OK there, but watch now Danny Murphy on the far side. That's a forward pass and the uh, assistant referee decides that is offside. It doesn't count. Peter Reid used to watch Liverpool from the cop with his father. Oh, Heskey to Berger. Great ball, Eric Meyer offside. That's the second one that won't count. Eric Meyer flag this time. This is Patrick Berger again. Meyer. It's mostly Liverpool still. This is Song. And Hope is straight forward again. The flag stays down. And the Liverpool captain. Oh. That was an ambitious volley, and it was a very, very good uh, position he picked up there, Sammy Hoover. Oh, 
then has 13 minutes plus stoppage time. Here's Bergen. Challenged by Holloway, Alex Ray. Goes beyond Quinn, Song didn't make a good job of that. Look at Phillips here, Vesterveld is out. Penalty, is it? Yes, has to be, has to be. Kevin Phillips was going round the goalkeeper and he got brought down. I mean, why the goalkeeper has to go in with his feet there, only he will know. But whether or not the contact was great, any striker in that position is going to look for a penalty. In fact, Graham Pohl has gone across to speak to his assistant on this side as well. Oh, what a penalty! It nearly broke the net. And Phillips scores again. 25 Premiership goals in 26 appearances. Straight down the middle and underneath the crossbar. Well, they'll debate both penalty decisions, I'm sure, the supporters. I wouldn't argue with either, personally, but there you go, it's 1-1. One, one. Thunder alarms go up, loud applause from their end of the ground. And a well-won point here puts an end to that uh, dismal run of Peter Reid's team. A penalty ten minutes from the end by Kevin Phillips, really summing up a very determined second-half performance by Sunderland, when Liverpool, having taken the lead early with a penalty themselves, really didn't kill the game off, perhaps the way they feel they should. But you can see the reaction from those supporters from the North East. And for Emil Heskey, a quietish second half for Gerard Houllier. It has to be two home points dropped. It's Liverpool 1.